June 6, 2008 from New York. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Comcast announced that it will be able to provide a broadband connection of 100 megabits by 2010. The cable network hopes to have lightning quick broadband available to 20% of its market this year. Comcast boasted that with internet this fast, users will be able to download a high def movie in minutes. That is, of course, if Comcast doesn't block your BitTorrent connection, shape your traffic, or charge you on a per gig basis after wooing you with the promise of high speed. Seriously, Andrew Ward, VP of Strategic Alliances, Comcast Spotlight told me last year that video was responsible for about 50% of Comcast's revenue and that their plan was to cut that down to 25% within five years. How? By offering services like very high-speed broadband connections over DOCSIS 3. At some point, I'm sure net neutrality will come into play. For now, since I can't get Fios where I live, sign me up. In other news, Strauss Zelnick cannot get the smile off his face. Take-Two Interactive posted a net income of over $98 million for the second quarter. GTA 4 has been good for business. Will EA's paltry $2 billion bid get shareholders' attention before it expires on June 16th? The suspense is killing me. Sony's Bravia Internet Video Link is shipping. It's a little sidecar that lets their Bravia television sets get over-the-top video via an Ethernet connection. I'll let you know when they sell 20 million of them and when you need to pay attention. Time Warner Cable is being sued by the city of Los Angeles. Why? The whole city is pissed about high cable prices and poor service. I wonder if this is a trend. Former Broadcom chief Henry Nicholas was indicted yesterday on fraud, conspiracy, and drug charges, the 21st century trifecta. The former executive is accused of backdating stock options as well as spiking colleagues and customers' drinks with ecstasy. Henry, who is number 258 on the Forbes billionaire list, is also accused of stockpiling cocaine, ecstasy, and crystal meth in a California warehouse. Where do they expect him to stockpile it? In his garage? Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, entertainment, and storing drugs. For Media Bites, I'm Shelly Palmer.